everyone today we are going to speak to a mother uh, with a special needs child so this is a very very interesting discussion that we are having um and uh, a lot of things that probably we are not even aware of so i thought that this will be an interesting one so hi harshita hi shivangi uh so actually harshita before we even begin um can you tell us a little bit about um, uh the background and uh, uh what this process is and what is it called medically also so uh i have a 4 year old son his name is ashwat he suffers from a genetic condition which is called lobar holoprosencephaly uh basically one of the gene mutated so it's repetitive basically because of which uh his brain couldn't uh couldn't be divided in two parts that is your left and your right side so now he is uh, under physiotherapy so that he can get his motor skills he is under feeding therapy so that he can learn how to eat gradually i will start with his special need education but there is a it's a long way to that usse pehle we have a lot of struggle that we are facing in the sense that uh, something as simple as traveling also becomes very difficult for us uh, going to visiting a doctor also becomes problematic at times reason being first you have to explain them ki ha ye special need hai then they will ask you to do all the tests again so just going to a doctor visit becomes a week long process and if i talk about traveling if i have to travel somewhere so i have to keep his food ready with me for all three meals because in case there is any delay he doesn't know how to eat and if you go to a normal restaurant at a airport and ask them to give you milk they will not provide you with that so traveling is also a problem for us uh apart from that ab aap travel kar rahe hain if you want to use the washroom with a special need he is 4 year old now he is pretty tall so bathroom mein toddlers infants ke liye banta hai tray not for toddlers or someone with special need so you cannot go and keep your child on the floor and they will not let you use the disabled one saying ki ma'am isme bacche nahi jaate hain so that again becomes a problem to us and in case he soils his diaper in the flight then to we have to reach our destination then only can we actually change his diet so ye sab cheeze i think consider karni chahiye because there are a lot of parents with special need kids who need such amenities these are basic things just a washroom is what we are looking for so hashta what you are also saying is that if you have to use a washroom and the special washrooms that are created everywhere the child still can't use it because because he doesn't know how to sit or stand and the so parent can't go with the ha, child and the parent can't go with the child and even if the parent goes there is no bed or tray or a bigger bed uh, provided over there where, where i can put him like i can lay him down and i can change these amenities are not there i literally have to ask someone else to accompany me so that they can carry the child and i change the diaper otherwise i have to put the kid on the floor and i don't think so anyone would want to put the child on an unhygienic floor so ye sab cheeze abhi tak consider nahi ki gayi hai ye sab cheeze samajhni chahiye i think the government should also probably implement rules which says that when they are making something as basic as a washroom special need ko include kare it's very important and special need can be of any age so wo bhi cater karna chahiye waise need ko that is there and uh, harshita uh, just in terms of the you know the time when you got to know right uh, how was that process like and what so about the doctors again, and yeah, uh, what was so that when ashwat ashwat was a preterm baby 8 month mein born hua tha and uh, the doctor didn't tell us that he had any issue i had a very smooth pro- uh, pregnancy to be honest and jab wo born bhi hua it was a c section delivery uh, the pediatrician said the local pediatrician ki iska head size small hai thoda but that's all that he said and as a new mother i didn't know what to do about that information and probably because i was just out from the operation so i did not give, uh, like give it much uh, of a thought and uh, i think one week ho gaya uske baad hum log hospital se discharge ho gaye the wapas jane matlab the doctor had asked us to visit him because of the jaundice tha so when i took him back so he was fine So then I asked the doctor कि आपने बोला था मुझे एक वीक बाद मिलने के लिए जब मैं मिली तो he started yelling at me कि ये ठीक हो गया अभी यहाँ क्यों आई हो and he just yelled and I went back and that was just the start and uh, I think when he was around three months old he was not smiling so 
every month I used to take him to for his vaccination. So वहाँ जो neurologist थे, उनसे मैं पूछती थी कि सर ये अभी smile नहीं कर रहा, but thankfully he smiled. So उस दिन तो मुझे relief मिला, but four months, five months में he wouldn't roll or he wouldn't sit. And whenever I used to tell this to everyone around me, they used to say कि तुम new mother हो, तुम बहुत obsessed हो, तुम overthink कर रही हो. ये बोल के दे यूज़ टू शट मी आउट कि नहीं नहीं तुम ज़्यादा सोचिए ऐसा नहीं होता कुछ बच्चे लेट से करते हैं तो मुझे भी लगता था कि शायद मैं भी नया करें बट आई थिंक इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंट टू बिलीव अ मदर्स गट सो इवन वेन ही वॉज एट मंथ होल्ड नाइन मंथ होल्ड सेम चीज़ें बोली जाती थी कि नहीं नहीं कर लेगा कुछ दिनों में कर लेगा एंड इवेंचुअली इट वॉज हिज फर्स्ट बर्थडे और वीक टू डेज बिफोर हिज फर्स्ट बर्थडे ही हेल्ड हिज ब्रेथ एंड ही टर्न ब्लू सो आई हैड टू रशन टू द हॉस्पिटल एंड वहाँ पे वेन द डॉक्टर आज भी कि ये कितने मंथ्स के हैं ऐसे कि कल ये वन ईयर का हो जाएगा दैट डॉक्टर स्टार्टेड गेलिंग एट मी कि एक साल का बच्चा नहीं लग रहा है ही कॉन्ट होल्ड हिज हेड ही कॉन्ट सेट आप लोग पागल हो गए हो देन ही टोल्ड मी आप ये सब करवाओ मैं एम आर आई करवाई सी टी स्कैन करवाई सब चीज़ें हुई देन आई केम टू नो दैट इट्स जेनेटिक कंडीशन दैट ही हैज सो दिस कुड बी इनफॉर्म्ड वे प्रायर बट मुझे तो एक साल में पता चला फिजियोथेरेपी फोर मंथ से स्टार्ट होता है For any normal baby who has such issues, but Ashwat ki case me one year me mujhe pata chala. Jab mujhe pata chala, sara process hua. I started the therapy and COVID happened. So one in one in half year mera waste hua. Usme bhi. And uh, to be honest, I'm from Patna, Bihar, jahan pe uh, pediatric therapist hai hi nahi. So that is another problem. So I just used to call our local therapist and unse ghar pe hi karwati thi kuch dinon ke liye. Then we left our hometown we have moved to hyderabad just so that i can get proper health care for ashwat we left our house now we are staying in hyderabad it's going to be 2 years now and ashwat has shown a lot of improvement all thanks to physiotherapy i think hum log usko itna weightage dete nahi hai physiotherapy is very underrated uh usse bahut kuch ho sakta hai ashwat now is four and he can hold his head he can in fact stand also if you uh, support him a bit So yes, he has improved quite a bit. Okay. And um, in terms of you know also um, your conversations with doctors, so I mean, how was it? Supportive? The? I wouldn't say that. There's this one doctor under whom Ashwath is still being taken care of. She she was a part of Medanta. She is the only doctor who gave me hope. To be honest. बिकॉज पटना में जो डॉक्टर्स थे उन्होंने तो मुझे वन ईयर तक न्यूरोलॉजिस्ट हो के भी आई यूज टू आस्क हिम दैट ये अपनी माइल स्टोन नहीं अचीव कर रहे हैं एंड ही वो टेल मी कि करेगा करेगा दैट इज़ नॉट द काइंड ऑफ आंसर आई वॉज एक्सपेक्टिंग प्रॉब्लम अगर वो बोलते कि यू शुड गेट हिम टेस्टेड दैन मैं कुछ और जल्दी करवा सकती थी इवन मैंने केम टू हैदराबाद देर आर क्वाइट अ फ्यू पॉपुलर डॉक्टर्स ओवर यूर पेडियाट्रिक न्यूरोलॉजिस्ट सो आई इवन वेन टू मीट दैम एंड वन ऑफ दैम ended up telling me that you're wasting your money on this child you better plan another one so i didn't expect that from a doctor because that is the last thing you would want to hear and that too from a doctor who actually gives hope to everyone so i didn't appreciate his approach at all in fact uh, that day itself i threw the medicines i have since then never gone back to the doctor and uh, i would actually suggest a lot of parents to not run to a lot of doctor because they do end up saying things which you don't want to hear but i think uh, if you have a lot of you need to have a lot of patience actually physiotherapy se bahut kuch hota hai i would say that and my medanta wali doctor she just told me one line that harshita jo bhi hona tha ho gaya hai ashwat is only going to improve from here onward so just focus on the positive part so that's what i have been doing now it's been 4 years so i'm I have accepted it. It has become easier for me. My parents are thankfully very supportive. I have a good set of friends over here. So, मुझे लगता है कि बस मैं उसपे ध्यान दूँ. चार लोग क्या बोलेंगे उनसे नहीं फर्क पड़ता है. Actually, since you mentioned चार लोग क्या बोलेंगे, so what do you think कि uh, environment कैसा था? Was it supportive, not supportive? Uh, I would say it was mixed. Uh, my parents were still supportive. I would say my parents, by my parents I mean my in-laws and my parents were supportive. But at certain point they would ask me question कि कब ठीक हो जाएगा? तो ये समझाना भी बहुत मुश्किल हो जाता है कि when you say it's a genetic condition, वो लोग life long independent नहीं हो पाएंगे. ये चीज parents को समझाना थोड़ा डिफिकल्ट रहता है एंड आई थिंक वो जब तक मैं भी नहीं एक्सेप्ट करूँगी तो शायद वो भी नहीं एक्सेप्ट करें तो आई हैव एक्सेप्टेड इट एंड नाउ स्लोली दे हैव आल्सो अंडरस्टूड दैट 
ये ग्रेजुअली जो भी इम्प्रूव होगा आई कैन ओनली गिव हेम अ बेटर लाइफ देन वॉट ही हैज राइट नाउ बट प्रॉब्ली कम्प्लीट इंडिपेंडेंस इज लिटिल डिफिकल्ट बट नाउ माई पेरेंट्स हैव ऑल्सो एक्सेप्टेड इट एंड दे हैव लाइक फुल सपोर्ट एंड बट आई वुड स्टिल से दैट अगेन वेन इट कम्स टू योर नोजी नेबर्स अ लॉर्ड ऑफ फ्रेंड्स आई डोट नो वाई स्टिल कॉल दम फ्रेंड्स बट दे हैव क्वेश्चन लाइक अच्छा तुम्हारा लाइक मेरे नेबर तुम्हारा बच्चा खराब हो गया तुम दूसरा बच्चा कर लो दैट इज नॉट द आंसर दूसरा बच्चा कर लो इज नॉट दी आंसर हाँ ऑफकोर्स आई वुड वॉन्ट टू हैव अनदर बेबी समे बिकॉज इवन आई वॉन्ट टू एक्सपीरियंस वो नॉर्मल मदरहुड इज मैं नहीं जानती हूँ कि एक नॉर्मल बच्चों के साथ कैसे रहूँ मैं हमेशा कोई भी बच्चे को ओवर प्रोटेक्टिव वे में ही देखती हूँ सो येस दैट हैज़ इम्पैक्टेड मी एज अ मदर बट आई वुड स्टिल से कि ये जो नेबर्स और ये सब होते हैं वो लोग कहीं ना कहीं से आ ही जाते हैं आई थिंक उनकी बातों पर ध्यान देना नहीं दे तो ज़्यादा अच्छा है for your mental benefit and uh, in terms of therapy harshita uh, what are the kind of things you know you so in terms of therapy there are a million of therapies that we are not even aware of uh, especially coming from a smaller place it's only when we came here we came to know ki apart from physiotherapy there is occupational therapy there is speech therapy there is feeding therapy so there is there, there are a lot of options actually तो फिजियोथेरेपी इज अगैन इट्स स्लो प्रोसेस बट देर आर स्पेशलाइज थेरेपिस फॉर ईच एंड एवरी फील्ड वो मुझे यहाँ पे आके पता चला आई हैव बीन गोइंग टू दिस थेरेपी सेंटर कॉल मिशन वर्क दे आर डूइंग एन अमेजिंग जॉब एंड द अदर थेरेपी सेंटर दैट आई गो टू इज इन सिंह दे अगेन दे हैव अ लॉर्ड ऑफ स्पीच एंड फीडिंग थेरेपिस बिहेवियरल थेरेपिस सो लोग नहीं समझते हैं कि एन ऑटिस्टिक किड जो जिद करते हैं वो ऐसा नहीं है कि वो ऐसा करना चाह रहे हैं इट्स मोर बिकॉज they don't know what is going in their head and probably they need someone to guide them patiently so you need a behavior therapist but log unko bahut galat nazron se dekhte hain ki ye pagal jaisa kar raha hai we tend to put a tag on them that is not right agar wo normal rehte samajh sakte to ye problem hoti hi nahi they have a problem that's why they are coming for the therapy so wo bhi cheeze hai and aap yahan pe aao to like for something as simple as uh, there are some there is something called as art therapy वो किस लिए किया जाता है सो दैट द चाइल्ड कैन कामली फोकस ऑन सर्टन थिंग्स व्हिच इज़ नीडेड हम लोग नहीं समझते कि ड्राइंग क्यों करवा रहे हो और ये बच्चा ये नहीं कर रहा है ये करवा रहे हो बट वो थेरेपिस्ट ही हम लोग को सही गाइड कर पाते हैं तो इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंट टू लिसन टू दैट इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड कि सब थेरेपिस स्पेशलाइज करते हैं किसी रीजन के लिए ही करते हैं तो मतलब उसमें कैसे क्या क्या करते हैं? So, uh, very few people actually take take up that field. It's called feeding therapy. जहाँ पे बच्चों को है problem in swallowing. So they actually these there are a lot of parents जिनके बच्चे आठ नौ साल के हो गए हैं special need हैं but वो बोलते हैं कि my kids can eat but they can only eat rice and dal because they will just swallow it down. But a feeding therapist actually helps you out in understanding कि आप क्यों नहीं chew कर रहे हो आप chew करना है खाने को अच्छे से आप चू करोगे तब वो सॉलो करते हैं वो स्टेप बाय स्टेप दे टीच यू सो वो आपको स्मॉलर से स्मॉलर पीसेस में बाइट साइजेस में खिलाना स्टार्ट करवाते हैं सो नाउ आई एम टेकिंग माय सन फॉर दैट इट्स बीन अराउंड सिक्स मंथ्स नाउ नाउ आई यूज टू ग्राइंड एवरी सिंगल मील इन अ मिक्सर एंड देन आई यूज टू फीड इम बट नाउ ही कैन ईट चपाती ऑल्सो इफ इट्स सो लिटल बिट ही कैन ईट इट सो इट्स अ बिग अचीवमेंट फॉर मी आई एम वेरी हैप्पी दैट ही हैज स्टार्ट बैबलिंग नाउ एट फोर he manages to copy me little bit but that is a big achievement for me i am happy he is doing well but sab parents shayad nahi samajh pate hain ki is tarah ki cheeze bhi hoti hai it's available you just need to inform people about it so that is needed actually now that you say that hashta um in terms of you know your own social circles also and telling people did you um, feel that uh, you would be able to open up easily or like what were the emotions basically going on i went through a lot of it actually to be honest initially when he was diagnosed i didn't even process it properly ki ye hua kya mere sath what is wrong with ashwath for initial 2 3 months i couldn't even understand that there is actually a big problem underlying ashwath's condition it's only uh, i think during covid that i was very helpless i couldn't go or take him anywhere there were no therapists and then i started researching about his condition then i came to know ki pure world mein only 24 25 registered cases hai iske andar ashwath ke condition mein 
but then i read ki one of the guy is now 70 year old and he is leading a normal life he can do maximum thing, things himself so tab mujhe samajh mein aaya ki acha if i just focus on his uh, like therapies probably ashwat can also do a lot of things so wo pad pad ke shayad i started accepting it ki theek hai ab jo hai i cannot change it i can only accept it and i can move forward just focus on ye kya kya kar sakta hai wo sikhane ki koshish karu pehle main bahut zyada roi hu i have been through that stage where i would just cry for no reason i would not sleep i would just be crying that was almost for like three four months but uh, when i moved to hyderabad and i met a lot of parents who who are on the same boat as me tab samajh mein aaya ki main akeli nahi hu there are a lot of parents who are going through it and if they can do it i can definitely do it and then i met a lot of family with uh, with uh, with their kids as old as 25 year old met with a bike accident and now they are paralyzed so jab mujhe lagta hai ki unki to puri zindagi beech mein ruk gayi hai they are trying so hard so why should i back out so i also accepted it and i now i feel free uh, as and i'm comfortable talking about ashwat's condition with anyone fir mujhe lagta hai ki shayad if someone knows some more therapies or koi to help hi karega na किसी और को अगर कुछ पता होगा तो शायद बता भी सकता है तो अभी तक की थेरेपी सेंटर्स खोजना या कुछ भी जो रिक्वायरमेंट्स हैं वो खोजना क्या इजिली मिला या What was that part like? All it strange coincidence. So when I was pregnant, that's when I had read about mission work, and it was just a random uh, reel that I was watching on Facebook, and I had shared it. Ki wow, India has such therapy center, and I never knew that when I will deliver, my baby will need it. It popped up in my memory, and I landed up over there. But about the feeding therapist, yes, one of the other mother was going there. She suggested me to. when i told her that my son has problem in eating she told me that my daughter too has problem in speaking so i take her to this therapy center and they deal with feeding therapist as well so yes she helped me out with the other therapy so it's very important to be open about the condition which a child has someone will definitely help you out something sometime always works no? so there are some of these groups of parents as well that you are connected with. there are there are in fact a lot of uh, not with the exact same condition but i would say that there are a lot of uh, special need groups online which you can be a part of which actually even helps you with if someone is looking for a special educator or someone is looking for a new therapy center so there is this group called jams it's called just amazing mother i'm a part of it from last two years and it's run by someone in mumbai in mumbai so it has quite a lot of people who help you out with normal medication to the doctors to appointments a lot of things that is there and then again social media you know it's a very big platform there are groups where they even share the you know like ki ha abhi 20 weeks pregnancy mein aisi aisi condition hai i would my personal opinion i don't know if everyone will agree to it but if i feel that if your scan says that your child has certain issue which is life threatening uh if i would knew about it i would not have gone ahead with this pregnancy i do not regret any part of it but yeah if given a chance if i knew i wouldn't i wouldn't want to carry that pregnancy because it's very difficult for the child also to go through all of these things it looks easy ki nahi nahi aapko to help mil raha hai ye hai but wo bacche ke upar kya beet rahi hoti hai and that parent they go through a lot and uh... You know there are the also these shoes that Ashwat wears. Yeah, so How these are called special those? shoes. These are Air Force and uh, other kind of shoes, which is uh, so there are certain people who specializes in making it. These are quite expensive actually, and if there are parents who have these shoes, or जिनसे वो छोटे हो गए हैं बच्चों के लिए, I would say कि आप donate करो उसे फेंकने के फेंकने से अच्छा है you give it to a rehab center जहाँ पे और बच्चे जाते हैं. That is first thing because Uh, those shoes starts from six thousand onwards. I mean, recently Ashwat ka maine banwaya that is cost around nine thousand. And now, if you wear special shoes, then you can't wear them. So, 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 you
सो वो सब कंसिडर करके करके लगता है कि आई थिंक कुछ तो बनाना चाहिए इन बच्चों के लिए कि थोड़ा रीजनेबल प्राइस में बिकॉज वी एज पेरेंट्स वी जस्ट हैव टू कीप थेरेपी के चार्जेस मेडिसिन के चार्जेस फिर हर थ्री मंथ में नए शूज उसे पहनाने हैं या न्यू क्लचेस चाहिए बहुत सारी चीज़ होती है एक्सपेंस का कोई लिमिट नहीं होता है स्पेशली यू विल एन एट दी एंड यू विल जस्ट डू एवरी थिंग फॉर योर चाइल्ड सो आई थिंक ये सब कंसिडर करके कुछ प्राइजिंग को कम करना चाहिए बिकॉज इट बिकम्स वेरी वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर पेरेंट्स सो दिस पर्टिकुलर वन यू गॉट दम मेड फ्रॉम सम uh like they come they mold your leg then they take the measurements then they make it like in a week or two weeks time and uh, every three month you have to buy a new one because bachche hain to grow hote hain so of course chota ho jata hai maine to ek dusre parent hai usko de diya ashwat ka pehla pair but abhi again he is growing out of his current ones and i cannot buy him shoes because ab bolte hain therapist ki usko aap wo pehna ke wo special need uske baad aap shoes pehnao to उसकी साइज की शूज मिलने वो डिफिकल्ट है अब बहुत बड़े शूज खरीदोगे तो हाउ विल द किड इवन रेज इज लाइक इट बिकम्स वेरी हैवी सो बहुत छोटी चीजें किसी और को लगी बट हमारे लिए वो स्ट्रगल रहता है कि यार नहीं उसको सॉक्स चाहिए बड़े सॉक्स चाहिए होंगे आजकल सॉक्स छोटे बनते हैं <laughs> तो हमें बड़े सॉक्स चाहिए होते हैं सो दैट इट कैन प्रोटेक्ट हिज लेग फ्रॉम वी गेटिंग ट्रूज सो ये सब चीजें बहुत नॉर्मल चीजें हैं जो हम लोग के लिए बहुत बड़ा स्ट्रगल बन जाता है ढूंढने के लिए अच्छा आई आल्सो सी दैट यू कीप टू बैग्स या बिकॉज़ द नंबर ऑफ थेरेपीज एंड द नंबर ऑफ थिंग्स दैट आई नीड अब चेंज अलग रखना होगा यू हैव अ स्पेशल नीड चाइल्ड यू डोंट नो कब थ्रो अप कर दे व्हेन दे सॉइल द डायपर और एनीथिंग सो आई कीप टू बैग वन फॉर हिज फिजियोथेरेपी द अदर वन फॉर हिज फीडिंग थेरेपी एवरीथिंग आई हैव टू सेट्स ऑफ ईच because i have to do that in case i forget something then going to the therapy center makes no sense so ek mein mai tiffins alag rakhti hu to ek mein uske shoes alag hai ek mein uske two pair of extra clothes plus socks rakhti hu to ek mein mai extra pair of brushes rakhti hu ki oro motor development ke liye chahiye to almost everything mere paas do do rehti hai at any given point if i step out of my house i make sure ki mere paas ashwat ka at least do meal bhar ka khana ho bag mein nahi to mai ghar se bahar use lekar nahi jaati hu if i am traveling i travel alone या फिर माय हस्बैंड ट्रैवल अलोन बट वी डू नॉट टेक हिम अराउंड फॉर दिस रीजन ओनली कि खाना खत्म हो जाएगा तो मेरा बच्चा खाएगा क्या नॉर्मल तो रेलवे स्टेशन पे तो ऐसे ही वॉशरूम की वाट लगी हुई रहती है तो बच्चे को चेंज कैसे करूंगी खिलाऊंगी क्या तो ये बहुत डिफिकल्ट है हमारे ओके और इट अम बिफोर वी एंड द डिस्कशन फॉर टुडे एनीथिंग स्पेसिफिकली यू वांट टू से आई वुड एक्चुअली वांट टू से दैट इन केस यू आर अ स्पेशल नीड पेरेंट प्लीज़ बी ओपन अबाउट इट किसी से घबराओ मत जिनको जो बोलना है वो बोलेंगे ही एंड एट सर्टन पॉइंट यू कैन नॉट कीप एक्सप्लेनिंग इट टू एवरी वन यू जस्ट नीड टू वर्क फॉर योर चाइल्ड यू डो नॉट हैव टू फोकस ऑन एनी वन एल्स एंड आई थिंक इट्स इवन मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट टू स्प्रेड दिस बिकॉज अवेयरनेस अबाउट ऑल दिस थेरेपी सेंटर बिकॉज बहुत बार ऐसा होता है कि देर आर पेरेंट्स हु हैज़ दी फाइनेंशियल एबिलिटी बट दे डोंट हैव दी करेक्ट इन्फॉर्मेशन तो वो लोग अब मैं पटना से आई हूँ वहाँ पे बहुत तरह के लोग हैं सबके पास बहुत पैसे हैं बट उनको पता नहीं है कहाँ जाना है तो वो लोग वहीं पे कोई ऐसे ही किसी थेरेपे से करवा रहे होते हैं वो सही चीज़ नहीं है इफ समन इज गिविंग और शेयरिंग इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट थेरेपी सेंटर आई थिंक टेक दैट इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड ट्राई इट बिफोर जजिंग जस्ट ट्राई इट मे बी इट विल हेल्प यू आउट एंड जरूरी नहीं है लोग हमेशा गलत इंटेंशन ही नहीं रखते हैं एक्चुअली अच्छा भी लोग सोचते हैं सो यू जस्ट हैव टू फोकस ऑन द राइट थिंग थैंक यू थैंक यू अर्जुता फदार